there we go my guys hello youtube let's load the game i did update to the latest version of open morrowind after last stream and then i did install a handful of mods more mods nothing else that's really like gameplay changing too much um but just some stuff that fit i can't remember the full list of them i actually do have a mod list prepared now um, but I forgot to add it to the link tree, so <laughs> there, there's currently no way for you guys to see the mod list. But I, excuse me, but I did put one together in case anyone is interested. I'll try to remember to get that added to uh, either to Streamlabs or, or to Linktree or both maybe or something here shortly so that we can uh, figure that this out in case anyone's moved. curious about it. Okay. Now, as far as I'm aware, the hunger mod should still be working, right? Yeah, okay, we are hungry and thirsty, so I'm assuming the hunger is still working and everything. I did run a tiny bit of the mod yes. just to make sure that everything seemed to be working. Or a tiny bit of the game just to make sure everything seemed to be working. Um, Solthus, shout out to, to him He when he stopped him before. I'm using one or two of his mods, um, including this one. I just turned down the intensity a little bit on it there and I wasn't sure if it uh, had saved between runs so just double checking that real quick but it seems to have done so I think we need to go you need me to up the gamble limit I need you to just lose more money my guy <laughs> how about that instead alright so we are heading for Balmora right where is Balmora we just need to go, I think, through town here. Yeah. Yeah, because we're in Lomarin or whatever. So if we just continue through town, I think eventually we'll wrap around to Bomora here. Now, which way is the through town section, though? Because, or no, we're in, like, Caldine or something, aren't we? Wasn't that the name of the town we're in? Now, we just need to find a... a a sign or something for us. Hello. Some notorious thieves. Do tell me more. Just a few hours ago, you were robbed. I'm certain it was the group led by the Khajiit Drozer. They stole all of my jewelry, but most importantly, they got two family heirlooms of mine. They've been in my family for years. If you can return them to me, I'd gladly pay you their weight in gold. Uh, I'll get your jewels back. <laughs> he will? Excellent. I believe their hideout is somewhere east of Caldera, although none of the local authorities have been able to find them. No great surprise there. Um, I will try and deal with that at some you point, <laughs> if we don't forget. Line, don't I don't think I can do it right now, though, without just dying, so... Okay, well, if that's... Is that... I think this is the entrance to town, right? Got distracted by the dishes. Cool, you got to see the mummy, but kind of gives me the ick. Her face wasn't wrapped. True. Bamora this way. Okay. So let's go this way. I can't exactly tell if this is a direction we've gone before or not. I'm not 100% positive. I just don't remember. I did install a mod that's supposed to add a bunch of ground cover. It doesn't seem to be working, though. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I must have screwed something up, or the mod's just broken. Or maybe this is how it's supposed to look, and I don't know. Whatever. I don't know. I'm not that worried about it. It probably looked prettier with grass all over the place, but it's not that big of a deal either. Sky is very red today. Is that? I'm assuming that's Balmora, which means we're almost there, finally. Okay, did our hunger go up at all? No. Hasn't been that long, though. Neither did our thirst. I guess I can at least take care of our thirst real quick. Because the thirst always works, but the other one doesn't always. So I'm just wanting to see... There we go. Just waiting to see if that one ticks up or not, so we know for sure whether it's working or not. <sighs> Are you friendly beasts? You don't look like... Nope, you're not friendly beasts. 
Uh, yeah, attack the sleeve. I didn't mean to change swords, actually. Our best bet is by far the short swords. Let's go! Uh, that hurt. That hurt real bad. Oh, God, we're almost dead. I don't think we're going to win this fight. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, no! I didn't think he was going for me. Um, no. Load this one. Okay. So the other one was me making sure the mods were working and stuff. We'll do a quick save just so we don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, now, which direction was that? We came from there, so it must be over here somewhere or something. Aha! This away, maybe. Sorry, stranger. My time is short, so get on with it. Uh, do you have anything interesting to say? Doesn't look like it. Goodbye. There is one thing I guess we could do, because we don't have much in the way of, like, armor, do we? Um, what are we wearing? Okay, we don't apparently have anything on us. Oh, wait. W got typed in there. That might be why. Uh, da -da -da -da. Yeah, we're still wearing common pants. Do we have any gold, though? 74. Is that enough to buy anything from the local armorer? Wherever that is. This does not look like the armor. The Shank's shovel? Excuse me? What do you sell, Mr. Mister Shank? Good day, I'm Shank. Publican of the Shank shovel here in Caldera. We rent beds and I have a limited selection of goods for barter. If you're new here, I can also tell you where to look for other services. Uh, tell me about your stuff, your stock. Not much, huh? Do you buy stuff by any chance? Like, if I were to buy or sell... No, you don't, you don't buy random directions. Do you buy the guide to Vardenfell? Do you buy anything? Do you buy journals? That thing's like $300. Why don't you buy it? What do you buy, my guy? What about scrolls? Oh, I don't think we're going to use the Icarian Flight. Nope, you don't buy that either. Okay. Um... Restore luck, restore willpower, restore intelligence, strength. Do you buy? Oh, you do buy this stuff. Okay. Is that luck? Willpower might be health. You can take the intelligence one. How much money do you have? 400? Uh. Ashium? I mean, some of this stuff might be useful, but I, I don't know <laughs> if it is or not. So, I'm fine with selling all of it. Uh, hound meat. Could actually be handy. Chokeweed? I doubt that's going to be super filling. Fresh fiber. Drop it? What am I dropping? <laughs> my... That's... I, you want me to drop my... I don't have my weapon out, my guy. <laughs> Quama cuddle? Uh, we're keeping the eggs. I like eggs. We will sell all of this. Rat meat? Sure. I don't think we need rat meat. Steve straw. Scrib jelly? I don't know. Scrib jerky? Yeah, spore pods? Okay. I don't want them. And all these mushrooms. There you go. 181. Do you have anything of interest to me? Uh, you have some cooked food, which is nice, I guess. But I, I would rather just keep the money, though. Anytime you're ready. So that we can do the thing. What exactly does drop it entail? Because don't we just have to, like... Drop it. Why, why can I not see what it says? I hate Twitch sometimes. You may be right. That's why I'm checking real quick. Do, 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 do. Drop it. Edit. Let's see. Make me drop my weapon. Only applies when a weapon can be dropped slash switched, and doing so won't completely halt the progress of the game. I.e. dropping a weapon required to hurt a boss. Hmm. It says dropped or switched, so I don't technically have to get rid of it. 
I can still sell it, I guess, but I just can't use it. Fine. We'll switch to the one that I'm that I suck with. <laughs> Which honestly is gonna hurt, but there you go. We're now using the Iron Spark Sword, which sucks because we are not yeah. good with long swords, like at all. Generic trader, huh? What's Hi, generic trader. Name? Oh, and I should probably mark that as complete too. It won't let me right now. Why? Why will it not? What? There we go. Mark is complete. There you go. There you go. I did it. I hope you're happy. Return. All right, you, barter. Oh, oh, you got all kinds of stuff. Well, first thing I think, guess we need to do, if you'll buy it. Oh, man, my iron shorts are, I suck with everything else, but it's fine. It's gone for a total of four whole gold. Hey, I don't suppose you happen to sell a short sword to you. <laughs> What'd this one do? Uh, seven to 11 was the best on it. Oh God. Five to 13. It's two-handed spear though. Imperial short sword, six to 10. That's legitimately worse. Iron Viper blade, five to 11. Solve this. Hey, thank you so much for the, for the raid again, my guy. Appreciate you. Also, hello, hello. Uh, silver arrow, silver bolts, war axe, throwing stars. That's interesting. Silver short sword. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know if there's anything here. Steel short sword, 7 to 12, with a value of 40. That's not bad, actually. We could buy that. But do you have any, at least pants? I would at least like pants. So how's the Morrowind going? We've just started, so you haven't really missed up anything, or missed anything. Uh... Pick up any of the survival mods? Um, I got the bodily injury ones, and I installed at least one of yours, actually. The, uh, the shader one. I don't remember what else I installed. I did put together a mod list, but I forgot to link it anywhere, so I'll need to do that at some point. David Haynes, what's up, my guy? Uh, Imperial Chain Coif, Curious. I would like pants. Pants, pants, pants. Preferably not heavy, though. Because we have right bracer, left pauldron. Yeah, that's the only, like, completely uncovered section of our body. I guess we could sell that, though. Well, and shoes, I guess. We're not wearing any any kind of protective shoes. Uh, steel tower shield, amulet of mighty blows... We may just need to go to the armor. This guy's mostly sp selling like fancy stuff. And then the heavy pants right there, which is not necessarily what I'm looking for. Okay. I will buy the sword from you though, so that we have a decent sword. And then go from there. Optijack, what's up my guy? Shader mod working okay? Yes it is, sir. I turned down the effects a little bit, uh, just so it wasn't quite as strong. I think I have it set to like 50% or something. I may need to mess with it a little bit more though as time goes on, just to, to fine tune the strength. But outside of that, it's been working well from the, the little bit of testing I've been able to do. I've been able to do a, a lot. I don't remember if I said hi to Optijack, but hello again. <laughs> Where are you armor? You look like an armor. Yes. Hello, sir. Do you have any fine armors for sale? Preferably pants. <laughs> Again, I just I just want pants, man. Maybe if I start running around naked, somebody will just give me pants. Heavy. Uh, studded curtis. It's light. Heavy, heavy. Man, like everything's heavy. Light. No medium. Medium is really what I was hoping for. But these light pants are better than nothing. So I can sell you the common pants. Oh, I should have sold them to the other guy, I guess. And do you have boots? You have steel boots. Do you have any light boots of any kind? I mean, heavy's probably better than nothing. We won't dodge as much. 
if I if I understand correctly, but we won't take as much damage either. Um Okay. Yeah, just buy even if it's heavy, just buy them so we have something on our feet. It's designed to be tunable like that. I saw that and I do really appreciate it. A uh, quick question for anyone that actually knows anything about Morrowind. Do the gauntlets, can we wear the gauntlets and the pauldrons? I'm assuming yes. But I'm not 100% sure on that. Let's, for starters, though, let's just go ahead and offer you that. Hit goodbye. Yes, you can. Okay, on, good, good, good. So I just want to get some on. sort of clothes on. Again, I'm, I'm aiming for medium-ish armor. Maybe even light. Probably medium. Doesn't necessarily fit with an orc, but we did random startup, more or less. And uh, <laughs> we ended up as a rogue orc, so it's a weird mix. But, oh, well. Oh, and you can wear pants under your armor. That makes sense, I guess. Uh, okay, so we need, yeah, some sort of some sort of gloves still. Does any of our armor need repaired? No, all all of our armor is fine. No repairs need. Apparel, we will take a right and left gauntlet, maybe. And then that's probably about it, because, yeah, I don't have a ton of money. Oh, what? Bro, I'm blind as a bat. Hold on. He has chain grease. We're going to lose money from that, but... Yeah, instead of the light, I'll wear the chain, because medium is what I'd like to go for. Two gauntlets, two rings, two pauldrons, Kira's shirt, amulet grease, pants, boots, helmet, and robe. <laughs> Can wear everything. I don't think I'm missing anything else that he sells, though, right? Because I have a bracer, which fits the pauldron slot, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and then we have a helmet. We have pants. We have boots. We have a shirt. <laughs> or no, I guess we don't have... Oh, wait, shirt, yeah. That's just the underlayer. Uh, two pauldrons, two ring. We only have one ring, but whatever. Those are heavy. Chain coif. What are we wearing on our head right now? Also medium. With an armor rating of 12. That's fine. Okay. I think we're good. I think we're good enough, at least. 91 gold for that, though? Uh, um, I do have the money, so screw it. Goodbye to the money. Hello to the armor. Where, where, and where? Cool, cool. Mostly for enchanting reasons. The frostfall will probably keep you warm. This is true. This is true. Uh, where's the road? Oh. The other thing I wanted to do was just take a nap to get our health back. So we actually need to go back to that general store, whatever it was called. As well as to get a save dropped. I'm so lost. Okay, no. This is the way we came. We went this way. And then turned. And then, is this it? That's the, well, the general trader. He'll buy, what was it, the pants? The fur helm. Oh, wait. Oh, bracers and gauntlets are the same. Hmm. <laughs> oh, well. So I guess I probably could have bought a left or a right pauldron while I was there, but too late. We're already gone. Not that worried about it. Uh, anything else that we want to sell? Yeah, we're never going to end up using that. Uh, probably never going to use the, <laughs> the Icarian Flight. Well, I don't know. We'll keep it. It weighs next to nothing. Okay. Yeah, good enough. Goodbye. What's this regarding? Go ahead, straight. And let's take a nap. We need La Rest. Thankfully, I have a mod this time where we shouldn't just die instantly from getting attacked by, uh, what's their name? Beds. Yes, I would like a bed. And goodbye, my good sir. 
Go ahead, stranger. Is it here? Nope, that's outside. Dark Brotherhood Assassin, thank you. <laughs> Armor with no clothing under. Yes, that does sound very uncomfortable. Kashi this is no this is very true, but oh well. <laughs> yes, uh, so the problem ended up being that I was having with, with Dark, um, that mod. It wasn't actually the mod itself. I had accidentally installed one of the compatibility patches that came with it. And uh, that's what was causing my problems, because I didn't have... Oh, I'm seriously hungry. Okay, well, that's fine. I didn't have the uh, the mod that the compatibility patch was for. So that was actually my bad. It was working. It was working as intended. And then eat some food to get rid of our hunger. Uh, does Will just one work? Nope, looks like we're still hungry. Eat some scrib jerky. Why not? There we go. Good, good, good. And now we can leave. And that should have threw down an autosave for us. Although it saves before you go to sleep, so I'm just going to throw a save down now. So we have one after. Just for convenience sake. Hunger and thirst so far? I mean, it's fine. <laughs> I really like... Ashfall, I think it's called, right? The 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 full one for for Morrowind base game. I like the mechanics of that one a lot more with the the bushcrafting and all that stuff. Um, but that's not really an option for us. Also, this dude is like running for us, and I don't think we can win this fight. Um, <laughs> uh, we'll try. Oh god! Oh, there's more than one of them. This is bad. This is not good for us. <laughs> okay. You know what? We didn't take as much damage as I thought we would. That's good. Oh, dude, we're actually... We might actually win. Let's go. Come on, die. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm down. I'm down. Up, please. Up, please. Why am I, like, stunned? Okay. We're gonna die. Oh, we got... Oh, bodily injuries. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, is that? Yeah, that's probably bad too, huh? <laughs> well, it's fine. <laughs> we're also, the other problem is that we're also on difficulty uh, 100. So the early game is going to be rough. If it's too hard, I'm willing to turn it down a little bit. But uh, I want to try playing on the hardest difficulty possible uh, for these runs that we're doing here. Can we just like... No, why, you stupid slave? Why are you irritating them? Just leave them alone. <laughs> okay, you're down. Oh yeah, it turns out not being completely fatigued in battle... That actually makes a pretty big difference. Imagine that, huh? I will take. And I will take. Okay. Look at us go. Ah, getting a uh, health potion or two along with something to restore stamina would probably be pretty handy. Especially because, you know, I want to jump constantly to get the... The acrobatics skill increased, but like, <laughs> it's a huge difference for hit chance. Yes, it is for sure. Yeah, I read that the difficulty slider isn't that great on this one as well, but yeah. Oh shit! Uh, also, chest injury. How do we deal with the injuries? <laughs> do we just have to wait for them to go away? Well rested, resist magic. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. You have no idea? <laughs> it probably says on the mod page. I could probably uh, pull it up. I'm assuming it's just time, right? Something else we haven't tried to do yet. Hold on, let's go back. It seems safe enough right now. I don't see any enemies around. 
Let's, uh, because we have that cooking thing in our inventory. Do, do, do. Here. Cooking fire kit. Place. Build a cooking fire. Drop the cooking fire kit onto your character portrait. Oh, okay. Ah, well, that... We just threw it on the ground. Um, character portrait. Hey, okay. So, cook. Meat. Um, what do we have on us? I actually have that meat on me, right? It's not just, like, creating it from nothing. Yeah, okay, we do. We do have hound meat. Now, presumably, eating that will restore me more. At least as far as hunger goes. Uh, and then pack up. Could just try... Yeah, I want to get a bedroll. That's something we should have checked for, maybe, in the, uh, the whatchamacallit. The, the town that we were in there. Because I don't want to abuse the rest mechanics too much, but might end up having to. I'm walking because I see those things up there, and <laughs> they kind of killed us last time, and we don't have a ton of health either. Cooked meat strength, fortify strength, cool. Cooked meat also fortify fatigue, nice. Okay, we're going to try to deal with these guys, and then we'll uh, maybe take a rest to see what we can do about our injuries. All right, here he comes. Oh my god, dude, we're not... Okay, there we go. Ow. Okay, that didn't deal nearly as much damage as it did last time, though. That was actually... Much, much better. We will definitely take your meat. Thank you. What are... Are you just a rat? Why are you so angry, rat? Goodbye. Yeah, we'll take the rat meat. That's fine. Balmora, this away. I mean, town's right there. What are the chances we die before making it to town, right? Surely they would have, like, guard patrols going down the roads to make sure there's not too many dangerous creatures on the road itself. I'm sure it'll be fine. Nothing to worry about. And when we get there, we can look for, for a nice bed to take a rest in. We can get rid of this slave that attacks everything in sight and walks like they just shit themselves. Maybe find a bed roll for the future. I really don't want to give somebody up to slavery, but I was hoping whenever I collected the slave that we could just free them. But the slave is too scared of me to talk to me. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a choice in the matter as far as that goes. The Khajiit Diaper Walk is classic. It's something, all right. All right, you did fast Eddie. Is that who, who are we delivering you to? Or lamb, uh, let's check journal. Quests. Um, is it this one? No. I have agreed to deliver the slave to Boris Hellas in Balmora east side of town. Okay. So, if we're facing south, then east would be this way. So, maybe on that side? I told you about the grandma house, right? That you might be able to move into? You did, actually. Yes. Have you gotten new news about it, my guy? You're not who I'm looking for. Uh, well, you're locked regardless. Hello, citizen. Do you know this person that I'm working for, or looking for by any chance? Um. Well, you know what? Tell me about some more when lore. 
Many Dunmer and Morwen don't like Outlander Dunmer. Dark Elves born and raised to Imperial ways can't understand what it is to be Dunmer born and bred. Hmm. Okay, well. Do you know... Oh, Lalu, Council of Here, Fighter's Guild. Fighter's Guild in Balmora is on Trade Street, west of the river. On the right, as you head north of the plaza near the south gate and the Silt Strider port, Idis Fire Eye is the steward. Look for her if you're thinking of joining. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Um, how do you feel about foreigners? <laughs> we don't like foreigners much anymore. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> well, Make fair enough. Quick, <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. I don't like you much either. Ooh. It's not stealing, right? I don't see anything about it being stealing. Oh, all kinds of stuff. Oh, we probably don't need the bowls or the bottles. We'll take the gold. And that's pretty much it. Dora Grimbole, no. Oh, big text. Okay. It says... Hold on. Taking gold. What? Nobody's talking to you. Ashiums? Yum. Uh, they're cleaning it up, and you and your friend who's better at tarot than I am. The tarot card said it's going to have a lot of heartbreak and some financial trouble. Ugh. But I talked with Anubis and Osiris, and they said that the heartbreak is going to be necessary for you, and the financial issues won't give me trouble paying the bills. Overall, they said to move to that house. I am happy for you, honestly. I think we all know I personally believe in nothing. <laughs> but I'm glad if it brings you comfort, then uh, then I'm glad it's working for you, my guy. Because honestly, I think you just need to get out of there. Like, obviously, I don't know how it'll work out for you. But I know for me personally, getting away from my family, though I love them, was a huge boon in the long run for my own mental health, like. Soul gems. I don't know how handy that'll be for me personally, since I'm mostly doing a melee build here, but it'll be good for money, at least. Potions you can find in those crates are so ridiculous. I don't think we've gotten lucky with any potions yet. I also, ooh, I, I didn't mean to just load into the house. Hi. Go ahead, stranger. How are you, citizens of the Empire? How do you feel about them? We've had peace and prosperity more went under the Empire for centuries. It's a government by law, and the legions enforce that law. The Empire has free trade and free religion, so we're rich in pockets and in spirit. Yes, there is corruption. Yes, there are crimes and criminals. Yet the rich, yes, the rich get richer and the poor poorer, but overall, things are pretty good. Are you sure? <laughs> I was like, hmm. Most of what you just said sounds like bad things. I don't <laughs> Yeah, there's tons of corruption and crimes and criminals are literally everywhere. And all the poor folk, well, they just lose everything. But other people's pockets get lined with gold. So everything's fine, I'd say. <laughs> what? It's trash, my guy. How do you feel about foreigners? Most native Dumber don't like foreigners. The Dunmer are proud people. And they look down on other races and cultures. They particularly dislike Outland Dunmer, Dark Elves born and raised to Imperial ways who don't know what it is to be a Dunmer born and bred. Foreigners can be accepted more when even adopted into the great houses. There's even a Nord on the house Lalu Council. But it isn't easy. It takes time and effort to win a native's trust. I mean, fair, I guess. I don't know. What do I know? Uh, No, we're not gonna... We're not playing as a thief for the most part, unless something really catches our eye. <laughs> it's going to be from your Nana, the heartbreak, and your mom. But you have high suspicion that's because you've never lived without them for more than a week and you're 26. Yeah, I mean, it'll take getting used to for sure, but I don't know. Regardless, I, I hope it works out for you, my guy. I, I think it will, but there's only one way to really know at the end of the day, right? That's to you give it a shot and see. Okay, somebody please take this slave off my hands. Rithleen's house? None of these... I'm, I'm on the east side of town, am I not? Is this the person? It's locked. I think that's the person we're looking for, though, right? Uh, local map. Ooh, okay. It has, like, the name of all the houses right here. Nine toes? 
Or Hellas. Boris Hellas. I mean, I don't see anything about it being illegal to block pick, right? So I suppose we could just tower key. And then what? I didn't. I thought it would be okay. <laughs> Well, the slave's gone. <laughs> That's... <laughs> I don't know what just happened. I was just... I was just trying to deliver the slave like I was told. Did we complete the quest? I don't know. <laughs> they just sounded very angry, so I ran away. Um... Journal. Uh... Oh, they were attacking the slave, not me. You want something? So I guess I could have tried to. I guess I could try to save the slave. You know what? If we just leave, hold on. <laughs> I'll come back. I promise. I'm not. I'm not leaving you there. But I, if I attack the slave, I'm going to die. Um, but it doesn't seem like they're fighting when I'm not in the room. So, I'm going to go save first. Because the rule is we can only slave Make when we're sleeping, quick, right? Uh, so I'm going to find a bed and sleep and then come back. You should probably... I want to save her. But if I try to save her, I get one shot <laughs> right now by people. Like, every humanoid we've come across has one shot us. So if we try to, we're gonna die. And why am I delivering a slave? In my defense, my plan was accept the slave. Uh, what's her name? Is it Rabina? Is that it? I'm sorry. Point is, I accepted Rabina or whatever their name is. <laughs> Rabina? I, I don't know. I'm terrible with words. Um, I accepted Rabina because I thought that once the the person was in you know my possession there. I could just talk to them and be like, hey, I actually have no plans on forcing you to do anything. Just go free, my guy. But then whenever, you know, ownership was transferred to me and I tried to tell her, hey, you're you're a free person. Do as you wish. They were too scared of me to talk to me. So I couldn't I couldn't tell them anything. Where is a bed? There's got to be a bed around here somewhere, right? Well, actually, I guess the rule technically was that we can save... Oh, can you sleep in Cassius's house? Okay. So I'd rather do that one anyways, which thankfully is right here. I just rest for an hour, I guess. And then, look, I'll come back and deal with you in a second. <laughs> Pull out the sword. Go in. Okay. We're gonna die. Now, thankfully, he's a mage, which... Oh, God, did you just freeze them? Which the mage doesn't seem to suffer from, like... Oh, okay, well... Ow! <laughs> the melee hurts! <laughs> I wish... The, can I give the slave a weapon? Uh... <laughs> I don't like being trapped in the corner! Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> That's why I didn't try to save instantly. Okay. Plan number two, right? We will rest until healed. And then, now that we're at full health, try to slave Rabina. If I can get over here. No, don't freeze me. I resisted. Let's go. Actually. Oh, damn it. I didn't eat or anything first. And I'm not allowed to eat in the middle of combat because that wouldn't make sense. Yeah, pull aggro. Just keep keep aggro. I should have cooked a meal before I came in here, too, to fortify the strength and stuff. Ow. No. No hit. Ow. Rabina, can you pull aggro? This one is no more. 
Are you... Do you have... No, you're not pulling aggro. Probably because you're not dealing any damage. Because <laughs> you have no weapons. <laughs> I can't ar or fortify you. Oh, oh god. I'm down. This is... This is going poorly. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> ah, okay. It's fine. Everything's fine. Here what we'll do. We'll rest until healed, right? And then we'll take a drink. Look, we we got this. Um Oh, that did also heal our stuff here too. Okay, we're well rested. That's good. And then I forgot that charging was a thing, honestly, but yes. Good tip. Okay, let's take a drink. Even though, oddly enough, the hunger thing isn't popping up. Do we need to, like, load? No. We are, oh, there it is. And then hunger. Can I cook food just, like, where I'm at? Cannot build a fire here. Well, that sucks, but we can still at least eat so we're not hungry. Okay, and then, yeah, and then try to charge attacks. How long is, like, the optimal time to charge an attack for? You could with Ashfall. I know that. I don't know if you can with, with Frostwind or whatever the one that we're using now is called. But I know with Ashfall you could. It was like I said, honestly, that was a really cool mod and the main reason why I wanted to play base game Morrowind. One second is the optimal time, okay. Ow. I got an injury. Oh, he's down! Stab him while he's down. This one is no more. This Stab him while he's down. I think I just <laughs> stabbed Rabina. I'm sorry, Rabina. I wasn't trying to stab you, I promise. Can we, like, screw with the AI here? Let's go. We might win this. You're so screwed. Stab him in the butt. Steal his stuff. Let's go, dude. All right. Yeah, I'm taking all of your stuff. Can I wear the belt? I can. Cool. I don't know if it did anything for me. Can we wear regular gloves too? Mm, no. Okay. Fair. I'll still take them though. Uh, might as well wear the shirt just for the heck of it. Can we wear shoes under boots? No. Also makes sense, but... Ring of Medusa's gaze. Paralyzed for five... So oh, that's the thing he was using. That makes sense. See, oh, tons of gold, too. Thank you, thank you. Common pants, why not? Uh, dagger, I mean, technically works with us, but we don't need it. Let's go. See, she helped. <laughs> okay, put that away. Can we, like... Oh, we can rest in that bed now. Interesting. Now, will you talk to me now that I helped save you? And you won't mind if I steal stuff from here, right? Like, they were Why just trying to kill you, Rubina. Uh, it is good that man, Vor Halas, is dead. He would have had Rubina killed for the drugs in my stomach. Thank you again. You are Rubina's only hope of escape. Your journal has been updated. Uh, tell me about yourself. You won't. Okay, what's your hope of escape? With your help, Rubina can make it to Imakilia, Kikilaya... At the Argonian mission in Ebonheart, will you help me? Um. Ta ta ta. I don't think they made her eat drugs. Isn't it just like. Don't the Khajiit just kind of like culturally take drugs? Oh, she was a drug mole. Oh, I thought it was just like a culture thing. <laughs> hmm. Shows you how much I know. If I help you, do I have to do it right now? Or are you gonna keep following me around? <laughs> You're gonna get me killed. You're much too kind. Thank you again for your help. Let us travel together. You are. Uh, <laughs> hmm. They eat moon sugar culturally, but they digest it. She probably has bottle of skumer. Uh, okay. See, I, I thought, I don't know, that he just hated skumer users or something. <laughs> I don't know. 
<laughs> uh, sure. Take the rat meat. Why not? Scuttle. I will have it. Well, Rabina, before we do much of anything, there are some things I need to take care of. I hope you don't mind. Hey, Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. I appreciate you. Uh, yep, take the food. And the food. And the food. A lot of food. We'll leave the folded cloth. Any, like, interesting drinks? No. Ooh, ooh. Bro, I love the sky in this game, man. It's so freaking pretty. Honestly, I think the sky... Like, obviously, the models and the textures and everything aren't quite as good as something like Skyrim, right? But the sky is just so freaking pretty. I, I really, really like the sky in this game. No longer well rested. That's fine. We're gonna we're gonna go sleep till morning anyways. And then I'm going to do what I Okay, the shadows are a little broken. And then I'm gonna go to what I was actually here to do in this town originally. Uh rest uh, for twelve hours should be fine. There we go. And then after all of that rest, surely I'm gonna need to eat and drink something. You don't have a fireplace or anything in your house, do you? That I could maybe use. No. Tis fine. Tis fine. Hello. Uh, you know what? I don't want any more quests right now. I'm not going to ask you about rumors. Go ahead, stranger. Hello, you. Yes, I'm Cassis. Cause, 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 yep. <laughs> what do you mean you were told to report? What are you talking about? Um. So you see her name is Stream the Barbarian Weenie. I hate you guys so much. Uh, not fireplaces, but like, you know, fire pits or whatever. Corner Club probably has one. Any inner tavern? The Barbarian... Deliver a package. Perhaps you'll let me look at it? Yes. Very interesting. So it says here, the Emperor wants me to make a novice... Make you a novice in the blades. And that means you'll be following my orders. Are you ready to follow my orders, Stream? I don't wanna. <laughs> You're gonna make me do dangerous things that will kill me. Welcome to the service, novice stream, the barbarian leading. <laughs> now you belong to the blades, where the emperor's eyes and ears in the provinces. You can use my bed if you need to rest, but leave my personal stuff alone unless I say otherwise. If you like, you can improve your modest skills with our blades trainers now. Or if you're in a hurry, I can give you orders right away. But don't forget to visit the blades trainers. Um. Okay, orders. First thing, pilgrim, you're new. First thing, pilgrim, you're new. And you look it. Here's 200 drakes. Go get yourself a decent weapon or armor or a spell. And second thing, you need a cover identity. Around here, freelance adventure is a common profession. Sign on with the Fighters Guild or Mages Guild or Imperial Cult or Imperial Legion. Advance in the ranks, gain skill and experience, or go out on your own, look for freelance work or trouble. Then when you're ready, come back and I'll have orders for you. Okay. Well, I think looking for trouble is probably just delivering Ravina to where she wants to go. And then maybe after that, we'll look at the Fighters Guild, possibly. I mean, I have always wanted to join a cult, though. <laughs> also, tell me more about your trainers. Blades Agent offers training. Not free, of course, but cheap for a fellow agent. Look for Rithleen, Tyre Malin, <laughs> and Nine Toes here in Balmora. In Caldera, see whoever, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Uh, you know what? Tell me about all these people, because I imagine it'll probably, like throw it in my notes or something. Uh, da, 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 da. The one I'm interested in, though, is Nine Toes. If the hunter Nine Toes, leave my door facing south, go right down the steps, uh, then turn left and head south. Look for his door on your left. So, leave my door, go right, then down the steps, then turn left and head south. Let's do that. You have... Ooh, you have moon sugar. Interesting. Anyways, at some point, we're going to need to figure out the alchemy system because uh, the alchemy system would probably come in handy. Quit uh. Yolanda. I haven't much time. Welcome to Morrowind Main Quest. No rush, just go adventure. I do really appreciate that, honestly. I think it's a great way to have the, the quest set up. Uh, hello. You're a little close. I know I helped you and all, but um, I'm not looking for anything serious right now, Ravina. Hello, Ninetoes. How does training work? 
Welcome, novice stream the preparing. We need nine toes is my name. Hunter is my trade. I'd be happy to share a little advice or more wind lore with a fellow blade, or maybe you'd like to catch up on the latest rumors. Actually, I'd like to know about the training. You gave me moon sugar. The basics we can teach you won't cost much. Advanced training, though, that's expensive. If you're already skilled, you're much harder to teach. Maybe I can help you out. Here's a little moon sugar on the house. You do know that trade in moon sugar and skooma is against the law, and most alchemists and apothecaries won't buy it. But Khajiit generally will. Try Ajira at the Balmira Mages Guild or Revere the trader in Balmora. Sell the sugar and start saving for training. You're literally telling me to break the law right now. <laughs> what? Aren't the... I thought the blades were part of, like, the Empire... The, the, the Imperial Forces or whatever, right? Blades. Uh, uh -huh. They're above the law. Fair, I guess. Um... Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Just yes, I am nine toes. Okay, interesting. Uh, training, how does that work? Athletics, illusion, or sneak? So what does athletics actually do for us? Athletics skill trains and conditions one for running and swimming. Skilled athletes move short and long distances over land with speed and efficiency. They also swim swiftly underwater. That's all cool and all, but what does that do for our combat skills? Oh, background, that's a good one, yeah. Hunter and journeyman of the blades. I, I mean, okay, that's... <laughs> I mean, that's technically more than he told us before, but... um, I mean, for rogue, sneak would actually be very handy, but I don't know how much rogue-like gameplay we're actually going to be doing. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, my trade tells us a lot more. Holy hell. I'm a hunter. I range across the ashlands and wastes, hunting for meat and hides. I know the native creatures of Ardenfell and know how to avoid the diseased creatures and the blighted creatures, for they are foul and worthless and deadly to the careless hunter. I know the ashlands and the grazelands, Azure's Coast, and Malugamore, and can tell you of these places. Very cool. What is the Imperial Cult? I'm actually very interested in that as well. Balmora's Imperial Cult Shrine is outside of town to the southeast in Fort Moon Moth. Odossi... Thyrothran is the priest in charge there. The altar there cures disease and poison. They offer various other services as well. So wait, are they a cult or just a religion? <laughs> Not that there's always much difference between the two, but you know, whatever. Um, <laughs> Different trainers train different things. Yeah, I just, I guess I just don't know much about the skill of, or I'm sorry, about the skills in general. So we have strength, which I assume has something to do with damage, right? How much damage you do in melee? Yeah. Affects your starting health, how much you can carry, and maximum fatigue. Okay. So that's magicka. Resist magic. And maximum fatigue. Agility is dodge and hit targets in melee. Ooh. Okay. So agility, strength. Speed is speed. Endurance. Starting health. Health gain per level and maximum fatigue. So all of the stats do everything. <laughs> uh, and luck. Okay. Um, and then we it breaks down even farther. Athletics, which is controlled by speed. So we want to get... I would like to get... Our agility up. Is there a way to sort just by like... Doesn't look like it. Mm -hmm. I guess we probably should be switching to light armor whenever we can, huh? Since that's a major skill. Does the major minor skill thing actually matter at all? Because, like, our light armor's 30, our medium armor's 30, but one's considered a major and one's considered a minor. Dorance equals health, strength is DPS, agility is hit and dodge chance, basically. Yeah. How fast do you level up? Maybe. You're not sure. Yeah, major skills level faster. Okay. So yeah, so it'd probably be smart to switch to light armor. We're already using short blades. So we got all that money. Instead of spending on training, maybe it'd be good to try and find an armor. And see in the larger city here if maybe we can find a uh, an armor that can help us. Can you get out of the way? Bro. 
to I, am I gonna have to turn on no clip can I go out the back door I can but will you just like move there we go this is why I hate having followers <laughs> I just loan it everywhere I go okay it's got to be an armor around here somewhere what are you the corner club don't stand about Hello. get moving Okay, you're a kind person, are you not? Hello, friend. I'm Arathor. Welcome to Bamora. If you have questions, I'll be happy to answer. Uh, oh, God. You have if lots I of options. Help, I will, but don't take too much Kajik time. Has no words for you. There's a good armor, but there's a launcher setting that you probably don't have on. Yeah, I did go through the launcher setting. I'm pretty sure I have most, if not all of them, on. This scent is new. I think, I think you're talking about the one where, like, NPCs move out of the way or whatever, right? I'm assuming? Anytime. I don't know. I think I have that one on. Yes, friend. Oh, you also do training, huh? You do mercantile, speechcraft, and alchemy. I do want to learn more about alchemy, but I'm assuming you're just, like, drinks. Scrolls, actually, huh? Meh. Don't need you right now, I don't think. One that makes their collision boxes smaller. I don't remember that one. I might have overlooked it, or I may. I'm not sure. Not positive with that one. Actor collision shape type, okay. I will make sure to look into that. I just jump over the edge. Just jump? No. Okay. Not getting out that way. We can train our acrobatics by just jumping everywhere constantly, right? Doesn't that increase the acrobatics? I'm assuming our acrobatics skill also controls how high we can jump. Yeah? Okay. we go through all these? I believe so. Jump height and distance. Handy. Okay, looking for an armor. And then since I enabled a couple more mods, we might hop on... I was going to say we might hop on you to go back to the starting town, but actually, it's just right down the river. It's not actually that far away. So we might just walk down. Uh, nope. Crates. Uh, I will take the food. All the food. Are we? We're hungry and thirsty. Oh boy. Drink and uh, scrib jerky. Did we learn something about the scrib jerky? No. Shops up. Do they always have banners? I noticed that in the one city they did. How dare the last one we were in, but I wasn't sure if all of them would. Makes sense. I think it was similar in uh, Arena. That shops always had some sort of banner outside. I didn't play a ton of Arena, but I have played a little bit of it. and Pretty short work that way. Like maybe you. You're probably a shop of some sort. And you! You look like maybe an armor. You're a bookseller. Oh, you're the Fighters Guild. Uh, we will come back to you at some point, Fighters Guild. Armor, there we go. Hello, armor. I am looking for preferably light armor. Um, that's medium, which is nice. I wish we could sort by armor type. Leather Curious, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. medium boots, medium, 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 a lot of medium, light helm, what are you, you're heavy, we're rating 10, 10, weight 1 on both, I guess it doesn't really matter, let's do the mask helm to hide our face, were we already wearing light pants? 
No, they're medium, so we will take the pants. Uh, da -da -da -da. Armor rating 10, weight 6. Weight 12, armor rating 7. So that is significantly worse. I don't actually want that one then. I want you. Just one though. 10, 6 for the boots. Did I not buy boots? Must not have bought boots. Um, okay, let's... Hmm. <laughs> what are you? Shield? Shield. Medium pauldron. I mean, I'd rather medium than the heavy that we have now. So we might come back through... We're rating 5, weight 8. 5, 8. 10, 6. So that's just better. Seven. Oh, here we go. Uh, light gauntlets. Just one, please. And a right gauntlet. One. Left pauldron. Do you have the right pauldron? You do. Bye bye. Okay, let's, let's, uh, sell everything that's not light. Make it a little bit easier for us to tell what we're missing. Uh, you don't buy common clothes, that's fine. We can keep that, okay. Sure, offer. I really don't have time for this, so make it quick. Wow, dude, there's nobody else around. What do you mean you don't have time for this? And... Okay. So what are we missing? We have... Pants. We have boots. We have... Gloves. We have pauldrons. We have helm. We have curious, I think... That's everything. I don't think we're missing any armor. Shreem, you had to restart Arceus because you lost your shinies? Wait, what? How do you... How do you lose the shinies? In that game. I, I haven't played Arceus yet. I do want to, but I haven't Go yet. Ahead. So, like, do you just randomly lose Pokemon, or... Is it, like, when they... when they, Or are you doing, like, Nuzlocke rules? You lost a Butterfree and the free shiny Ponyta and they were just gone. What? That is weird, my guy. The Affairs of Wizards. That's not marked as stealing. When we come part of House Telvani? Uh, da 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 da. Vigorously defend the right to keep your own slaves. Ugh. Hmm. I'm not a big fan of House Telvani already. Um, we'll take it though. It's worth money. And it's not marked as stealing, so it's okay. Alright. Out we go. Uh, what about weapon? One here sell weapons? Just generic trader? Oh wait, you are the generic trader, aren't you? Barter. And actually, you'll buy the moon sugar, right? Because you're Khajiit? Uh, random notes and things. There's wizards. The fr Sure, just take all of the books. <laughs> the Wraith's Wedding Dowry. I'm sure some of these are very interesting, honestly, but... Uh, I imagine soul gems aren't too hard to come by. And I have no use for them, at least right now. Uh, I think yams are edible. Three petals. They were in the storage pasture, and they just disappeared? That's so weird, man. I don't know what the mots... Mot, motsi? Motstay? I don't know what that does. 
Moon Sugar. Value 50. I'll sell you three because I'm just curious if we take it. Like, what does it do? It's a lot of jerky. I probably don't need that much jerky. So, like, 29. All that common crap. Uh, sell the dagger. I'm going to focus mostly on short swords. And I think that's it. Do you happen to sell a bedroll or anything? That'd be useful to me. Candles, lanterns, bait bucket. Oh, yeah, that's right. We got the fishing thing, too. Give me a fishing pole, please. And uh, some fish bait. We could try fishing. I don't know what the candles and stuff are. I guess just for regular light. You getting ready for bed? Have a good night, my guy. Thank you for coming and hanging out for a little bit. Leather. The Devil Spear. That's interesting. Random apparel. Hmm. <laughs> I don't expect you to have, like, any good weapons for us, but... Yeah, no, I, I, I imagine just, like, a regular ar weapon or... <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, sure. Offer. You're giving us 310 gold, right? Or no, are we... What did we buy? Value 7. Okay, yeah, you must be giving us that much money, because, like... <laughs> Fishing pole has been removed from your inventory. Fishing pole has been added to your inventory. I think that's a little a little glitchy there. Check out the Tontos? Okay. Will do. Fiend Tonto. Oh, and they do count as short blades. Bound Dagger. Lightning Shield. Three points for ten seconds. Okay. That's cool. Katana is a long blade. Spear. Demon Tonto. Bound Dagger. For 60 seconds on self. I don't get what that means. Speed 225%? That's kind of cool. Doesn't have much damage. It's a guaranteed 6 compared to 7 to 12. So it's not like that much lower. Speed 225. Ours is... 200, so it is a little bit faster. You turn it into a powerful summoned dagger? What? Okay. What's the value? 3,000? <laughs> I don't think I can afford them. Oh, well, this one's only 125. That lightning shield must be worth a lot, dude. We'll try the demon one. Yeah. Okay, we still get a net gain. On money there. Uh, fill my water flask. Please. And fill my water jug. I, th I don't think my water jug was empty, but it's cheap to get refilled. And I'd rather make sure we don't randomly run out of water at some point. Ooh, the fishing boat. Okay. Oh, shit. No, sorry. I'm not trying to break into your... Let me out. <laughs> there we go. I need a water source. Where is the thing? Lightning shield? Oh, is it really? <laughs> well, <laughs> I just didn't understand why that one was so much more expensive. When I saw the cost, I was like, oh, yeah, it must be because of that. I don't see any other reason for it to be so expensive. The razor hole? Interesting. Hold on. Are you an orc? Hello, Citizen. orc. I'm Shargum Groshog Dog. Vamora. We're a house Lalu town and loyal citizens of the Empire. What can I do for you? Hmm. Because he's trying to scam you. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, well, I guess you don't really have anything interesting to tell me, Mr. Orc. But hello, it's nice to see another one of my own kind around here. Interesting. Charges? Oh, cost slash charge. Okay.
Can we see this dagger from here? We can. Bound dagger. Ooh, 10 to 20. Yes. Fortify skill short blade by 10 points? Oh, that's really good. That is good, man. And it's a short blade, which we're good at. It gives us the plus 10 to short blade. And it does more damage than our normal blade. And then not to mention the fact that we can still just use the Tonto as a weapon. Very cool, dude. Yeah, that's a good tip. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can I still put it away? Pull it out? Damn. And then... Yeah, that sticks around. And I, I, I think it just charges over time. Recharges over time. I'm not sure, though. What's the Berserk skill again? Fortify health, fatigue, attack. Drain agility. Ugh. Hmm. Okay. Random temple? This isn't where I wanted to go. What am I doing? Water. Um. Which way did we want to follow the water? Was it this way? I guess that's what our map's for. No. We want to follow it that way. Not literally swim in it, though. Hold on. Can we... Can we fish here? Too far away to fish. You fail to catch anything. Okay, so it's just like a random chance sort of thing. Now, we got that bait, right? Is there... Do we have to, like, apply the bait somehow? Fish bait. Hmm. Not completely sure how that works. Do we, like, click it on to you? Hmm. The stream may just not be a good option for fishing. We'll come back to the fishing. Uh, okay. Let's head back to the first town and see about getting a sleeping a sleeping bag, a bedroll. Also, just jump. Jump everywhere. Get that acrobatics up. Let's go. 139. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> Time flies so freaking quickly when I'm playing this game. And one of these days, we do need to ride one of those. Maybe we'll ride one when we come back, just for the fun of it. Just because I'm curious about what it's like to ride one. I assume it's just going to be kind of like riding a cart in Skyrim, you know? You just kind of fade out, and then when you fade back in, you're, where, you're wherever you were going, but... Yeah, I don't know why, like, they have this long, complicated road that goes all the way around to come to this large city. You would think that the towns would get together and just be like, hey, if we just cut a road right next to the water here, <laughs> we could get to one of the largest cities in our area much, much quicker. Which just makes so much more sense, man. I fish. Oh. Okay, well, switching our fishing pole... Probably isn't going to do us much good. Huh. A large slug. We caught something. Okay, now since we caught something, did that use bait? Didn't we have five bait before? <laughs> I'm so confused. I don't know how anything works. Where's my fish, though? I want to cook it. Uh, Can I cook? Please. I would like to... Put this way. Cook. Fish. Slaughterfish. Hey, okay. Is it under magic? Must be under magic. And then the cook stuff. Look at that, man. Okay, eat you. I'm sure that has some sort of effect, but it won't show until we go to the other thing. What else can we do with you? Can we... Cook mushrooms 
Okay, yeah, so it won't let us just, like, randomly spawn stuff, which is good. I do wish this menu was, like, context-aware, and it would only let us cook things that we had in our inventory, though. Like, that would be nice. Swift swim. Ah! Cooked fish gives us the ability to swim faster. That makes sense. I just realized that we have, like, no... Agility or f fatigue or whatever the hell it's called left, though. So I might not want to go in the water right now. Um, Are you friendly or no? Are we going to have to very quickly run away from you? You seem friendly enough. Okay. Now's the time to talk. I was very scared of you, I'm not gonna lie. What's your trade, sir? I'm a miner. Usually here in Vardenfell, being a miner means you're an egg miner. Scrib jerky and scrib jelly, quama eggs, and quama cuddle are the basis of our Vardenfell economy. Yes, there are more valuable resources we take from mines. Raw ebony, raw glass, drow, dro, wax, daedra skin, daedra heart, holy shit, morbid, diamond, ash salts, and so forth. And that's good work, too. But it's the egg miners that feed more wind and bring cash from all over the empire. Interesting. Never knew that egg mining was such a big thing. I'm a miner in the Shulk egg mine, but I'm getting some fresh air. Uh, I'm assuming you're going to say roughly the same thing, yeah. Scripts are little baby quama. We shuck the shells, crush the flesh into a jelly. Doesn't taste bad, and it's filling. Takes a while getting used to the texture, though. What are... Okay. <laughs> This better be important. Just imagining taking, like, maggots and just crushing them up and eating them. It does not look like we can use random... Whatchamacallit from the world, sadly. Miner's pick. It's a two-handed axe, huh? <laughs> so this must be the mine. Is this a dangerous mine, or is it pretty chill? Uh, hold on. I want to equip the, the Tonto, actually, yeah. Okay, the Tonto... <laughs> kind of... We just can't hit. <laughs> the Tonto in and of itself, I'm not sure if it's any good. Just spam. <laughs> in this case, I think spamming's better. But... What about this, though? This is what I really wanted to test out anyways. Damn you. Paralyzed. Oh, you're already dead. I'm just wasting. Okay. I'm just waiting for, like, the mother of all scribs or quamas or whatever they're called to show up. Also, this is a lot of eggs, man. What am I going to do with all these eggs? Oh, hi! So, wait, do they go from, like, the little guys to this? Oh, dude, you're dead already. Hell yeah, this dagger is sick, dude. Uh, just dispose of the corpse to clear it up. Take all the stuff, please. I'm a hoarder. I can't help it. And eggs are delicious, so why not? Oh, damn. I hate that the the demon Tonto, like, goes away each time we use the spell. Like, it unequips itself. It'd be nice if it stayed equipped. Let's go. How deep can we go in the mine before we just get wrecked? Death to the evil slug. That's one way to put it, huh? Oh, God. What I do like, I will say, is that it's, like, legitimately scary. Just fighting these basic things 
is legitimately scary because there's a real risk of death. And because of our self-imposed rules, like if we die here, it's going to be a bad time for us. Which is exactly why I think it's probably a good time to turn around. Oh, God. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Noodle bought a fidget slug to name it. Slug. She did. This is this is true. These are these are true true facts. Okay, yeah, this is where we leave. Uh, get out of the way, please. <laughs> do, 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 do. Okay, well, we're technically in a safe space. We just can't heal in combat. So now is probably a decent time to check. Okay, we have some injuries. I still don't know quite how to deal with that. I'm going to have to look into that at some point. But don't we have, like... Restore willpower. Does that restore health? What does that do exactly? Mm, no. This is... Hmm. <laughs> so it literally just restores willpower. So we must not have anything that heals us right now. What's moon sugar do for us? Is it just an alchemy ingredient or does it actually do anything? I guess it's just an alchemy ingredient. We just kind of wasted it. Oh, well. Hmm. I was hoping we had some decent way to heal ourselves so we could finish going through this mine, but, you know, it's just something to do later, I guess. You want some of that moon sugar? Hop on in the game, dude. Skyrim, it's an ingredient more when no idea. Yeah, it seems like it's just an, an ingredient here, too. One mechanic I really like from Skyrim that I wish was in Morrowind is uh, where, like, if you eat stuff, it tells you the first thing about it for free. Like, I, I really appreciate that. In, in Skyrim. And I wish it did the same thing in Morrowind. Wait a sec. Okay, I got scared for a second. I thought I heard more of the... Did I just fall? What? <laughs> Why did I just randomly fall, my guys? Hello, minor gore. Uh, You have nothing interesting? Doesn't something. look like it. Now's the time to talk. Neither do so you. What do you want? Is this considered stealing? It's not, but I would feel like it's stealing. Yes, friend. <laughs> you scout tunnels. Interesting. Why? <laughs> Why indeed? Get moving. Are you bad, Scrib? You're good, Scrib. You must be Scrib friend. We'll leave you alone. Are you also good, Scrib? Nope, you're bad, Scribs. Okay. Damn you, Rabina. Why do you have to fight everything that moves? <laughs> just just leave things alone, my guy. You're going to end up getting us killed. Literally. Oh, God. Seriously, though? Oh, God. Oh, God. I can't move. Why am I over-encumbered? Hold on. Uh, We have that fortify strength, right? I'm leaving. <laughs> I hope you can deal with them yourself, lady. Or just, will you just run away from them, maybe? I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'll come back for you. What say you? <laughs> I would love for her to just come with us, but I don't know if she's going to or not. Uh, okay. What happens if we just like load into the next area? Will she load with us? Oh god, they're back! I don't know what to do. <laughs> Even though she's technically fighting something, I would say this is a safe zone. It's literally a camp. 
Uh, so like, I should be allowed to just camp here, right? No, enemies are considered nearby. We don't have anything to heal with. I didn't expect all the enemies to respawn the way they did. We might just be screwed. Hmm. I won't be mad if you breed bow. I can't speak for anyone else, of course, but... God, you have so much health, too. Yeah, I need to get some fatigue back. And, uh... Not Beggar's Nose. Demon Tonto. We also have the Ring of Medusa's Gaze, which maybe would be worth it. It's not a good sound, dude. You're sounding pretty rough. Okay. Can we leave now, please? And it's considered safe. Thank God. Okay. Bro, that was legitimately scary. And I'm glad we got out of that. All right. Back to the actual camp, though, because it wouldn't feel right to me Come on, man. to do it there. Also, can we actually, like, talk to you now? Oh, cool. We can have you wait. Dude, we should have totally just left you at our at the house, but oh well. What's this regarding? All right. Okay. Camping time. Uh, until morning, I guess. 12, 14 hours rest. Okay, that gave us full health back. Good. Do we try to go to the end of this mine or just leave here? It's getting late. Let's try let's try to go to the end of the mine. Let's see what's down here. I'm curious. The other question is are these guys going to respawn as well like the other ones did? No, they're still here. They're still dead. Oh, I'm over encumbered. Probably mostly from eggs, which actually, you know what? It's a good time to eat. Um, I don't suppose I can start a fire here, can I? Oh, I can. Cool. Cook. Uh, eggs. I would actually like to... Oh, I didn't mean to pack up. Oh, well, I guess. Magic. Cooked eggs. Thank you, and I'll eat some bread to go with my eggs, because of course. Let's have a little drinky drink. What are we going to get for Bo? Okay, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> I mean, okay. let's be honest. Last Bo was cutest Bo, but this Bo's not bad. This Bo's okay. <laughs> I don't know if I'd call that dopey eyes, or just like, I don't know, man, scary eyes. Uh, let's get the good weapon out. And if the scribs aren't going to attack, we want to attack the scribs. Scribs can be friends. There's another door here. The queen's lair? Nope. <laughs> Don't even think about it, Ravina. You don't have to fight everything that moves, I promise. Beady eyes? Yeah, beady eyes are one way to put it. Okay, so they must, whenever an area is reloaded, must be when things respawn, which makes sense, I guess. I was hoping they would stay dead for a little longer than that, though. Are you also not mean? Okay. It's a little weird how some of these creatures just hate us and other ones are like, you know what? You're fine. You we don't like mind you at all. I don't know what that means. I think you like to walk a fine line, actually. 
Hydrate. Also, hello, Psycho. What's up, my guy? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope you've been doing all right, man. I'm actually kind of needing a drink and just wasn't thinking about it, so thank you for that. It's always nice to have a little reminder. I'm going to take this moment to also sit up straight here and just... I mean, I say sit up straight, but it's more like uh, push myself up in the chair and cross my legs because, you know, that's how it's comfortable to sit, I guess. I can't oh, boy. All right, so we're going to leave this room. We're going to get attacked by a bunch of stuff. We're going to try not to die. Make it back to the starting town because hopefully the starting town will have a bedroll that we can buy. And also, she is going to attack everything under the sun because that's what she does for some ungodly reason. Because she has literally no chill. Uh, get rid of corpse. Okay, are you going to attack? No. If you're not going to attack, I'm not going to attack. If it's only the little tiny jelly dudes that wanna that wanna attack us on site, I'm fine with that, dude. I would love to fight the queen at some point of those things, but not right now, man. We <laughs> we need to get our skills up before we start running around trying to kill people. It's actually a bit farther than I thought it was. If we just keep going... Yeah, that's where we're trying to go. Yeah, so we just want to keep following the water, actually. We don't want to cross. Okay, maybe go around the big boulder. Also, what are you doing? Oh, wait, no. Where's Rabina? Hello? Rabina? Dude, where'd she go? She just disappeared. <laughs> Bro, what are you doing? <laughs> Get your ass back here. We must have, like, outran her or something. Maybe the way Morrowind works is that, like, your followers only follow you to the next room if they're within a certain distance of you when you load into it. I mean, it makes some level of sense. Oh, we're thirsty, are we? Oh, no, put that back on. Just try and take a drink, dude. There we go. Should deal with the thirst for a little while. Also, we didn't get the well-fed bonus. So how do we get that exactly? Was it just from the meat? I think we do have some meat on us, right? Hound meat. Yeah, okay. Cook. Meat. Hound meat. And then while we're here, go ahead and cook some more eggs. Back up. Uh, cooked meat has no effect on you, but cooked meat does fortify strength and fatigue. Nice. Okay. So yeah, so different foods have different effects, which makes sense. I'm for that. I wonder if the cork bulbs have any special effects. You, you're just a mushroom. Okay. This kind of looks like a road we're following. Begley. Definitely a trail of some sort, at least. Like, with this perfect clearing at the top and everything? Yeah. I don't know what Heather is, but... I'm really bad with Bethesda games to just collecting everything. <laughs> like, when I see things in front of me, I have a really hard time not just grabbing them, even if I know that I have no real use for it. 
Don't fall down the mountain. Okay, fine. We Gucci. Seems like a perfect time to take a fishing break. Is it just automatically fish? Or do we have to cast? I think we have to cast. Failed to catch anything. Did that use bait? Are we out of bait? Where are you? Scales. Miscellaneous? Fish bait. Okay, so I think it just uses bait every time, whether we catch anything or not. It does. That sucks. Makes sense, but still. You know, the walking animation for the main character is not... Well, no, it's pretty bad. <laughs> I was going to say, it's not too bad, but it's it's actually pretty bad. Play the whole game in isometric mode? I saw that was a thing on... I think it was April Fool's Day, like, last year or whatever. <laughs> the creators of Morrowind uh, made a, a modified version of the engine where the game was just stuck in, like, isometric mode like this the entire game, or time. So you had to play kind of like, you know, Dragon Age or Baldur's Gate or something like that. Kind of that viewpoint. And whenever you would go in buildings and things, it would just, like, show you through the top of it. I don't know if it still works that way here. And, like, you could definitely try and play the whole game like this, I guess. <laughs> but, although I don't know how, like, picking things would work when you're looking like this. Uh, that stuff might not be pickable, though. Hold on. We'll try to find some that's pickable. Uh, can can we fight the rat like this? Okay, it is working, actually. Okay, zoom back in before we end up dying. <laughs> I don't know if the game actually works that way too well or not in this normal build of the game. But how did you hit me that far away? My god, dude. We're gonna die to a rat. We need Rabina back. Where is she? You need to come pull aggro on this rat, my dude. There you go. Seriously, though, where is she? God. <laughs> I hate having followers so much. We need to get rid of her as soon as possible. Hopefully she just comes back. If not, when we're done in Sejanin next week or whatever, we'll try to remember to go back this way and find her. <laughs> I'm hoping it works kind of like, you know, Skyrim or Fallout or something like that, where when you rest a little bit, your follower just kind of comes back eventually on their own. We have injuries? We do. Chest injuries. Damn, dude. Need to look that up, too. Remember to look up how to deal with bodily injuries, other than just resting. Because that makes a pretty big difference, man. I mean, our skill's only, what? I'm guessing 50 base? Yeah, it's only 50 base and we lost 10 of it. That's one-fifth from one injury. And that injury was just from a rat getting angry at us. <laughs> like, huh. It hurts, my guy. Hopefully as our combat continues to improve, we'll be able to take out these enemies a little bit harder. There is always the option of turning down the difficulty, but we're going to try. We're going to try our damnedest not to turn down the difficulty and just leave it on max the entire game. Okay. Back in such a mean here. I know this trader is supposed to have like a bed bowl or something for us. Definitely does feel like we jump a little bit higher and longer now. It's not a huge difference, but I'm listening. at least by a bit. 
Hello, you. Uh, advice, potions, scrolls, practice skills. Uh, bah, bah, bah. barter. Okay, you sell lots of stuff. Lives of the Saints, Mortar and Pestle. Can we actually use the Mortar and Pestle? Weight 5. I don't like the weight or the value. Value 100. Okay, firewood would come in handy to build the other type of fire. Uh, that's the one problem with using multiple different survival mods. There's a little bit of overwrap. Oh, the covered bedroll. Value 100. How much is the one that we just attempted to purchase or are purchasing? Value 40. Hmm. Or a whole tent, but weight 15. That's kind of heavy. I mean, I guess we could start with a bedroll. And then maybe work our way up. Or we could just go into it, man. Like, straight into it. Uh, I don't know. Cooked food? Cooked food's always cool. Cross damage, heart-wise. Do you have any, like, potions of healing? Fortify agility... No, we want, like, something that restores... We don't want to fortify stuff. We just want to restore our health for when we're... There we go. Bargain restore health. I will buy both of those. Thank you. Uh, and honestly, restore fatigue 2 would be nice. Uh, if I luck, Sujama... Cure common disease would come in handy. Cure blight disease would also come in handy. What are we up to? 108? We have 870, so we're fine. And you know what? Screw it. Let's go straight for the leather tent, maybe. We might end up regretting it, but whatever. We're definitely going to have to sell some stuff because we're over encumbered. That's fine. Don't think we care about any of your other stuff that you have. Okay. What can we sell? Restore intelligence, water catcher. Uh, da -da -da -da. Gold has no weight. The water jug does, though. Just the survival stuff is so heavy, man. Crush fiber. Well, we don't know how that even works right now. And I don't think we're ever going to be using this Iron Spark Sword. So go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, We can go ahead and get rid of the Hector. Don't we have like a ton of eggs or something? 38 eggs and each one weighs 2 pounds. Yeah, let's get rid of like... I don't know, we'll keep five large eggs for eating. Uh, we'll just sell the three small eggs. Doesn't seem to have any real benefit to us anyways. Okay. We'll keep the steel short sword as like a backup weapon. I think. I think that's good. How Goodbye, good sir. My time oh god, precious, so I didn't mean to quick. press the auto run button. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we feel so much faster now. Does the amount of stuff we're carrying affect how fast uh, we you. move? I mean, it would make sense if it does. Speak up. Wait, what is this? Oh, our scrolls. Okay, 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 okay. Let's try sleeping now. As far as I know, there's no beds for rent in town, so we'll need to leave town and pitch a tent. I don't know how far we need to go to pitch a tent. Uh, Maybe like right here-ish? This is relatively flat, like right here. So if we go to inventory, I'm assuming it's like most things, right? We just grab the tent... Click it on ourselves? No. 
Do we grab the tent and then click it on the ground? No. Oh. Unpack. Hey. Oh. It's just a tent, though. And it's not very waterproof. <laughs> it's coming right through it. I think I think we wasted our money on that tent. You know, for the for the role play aspect of it though, it's nice to have. We're gonna go back and get the bed roll to go with it, I, I think. So that we have somewhere to actually sleep inside our tent. Would have been nice if it actually blocked out the rain though, just for immersion. Hey, I'm back. I lied. I actually need a bedroll, too. Um, I guess we don't need a covered one because we bought a whole ass tent. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Offer. Goodbye. Ooh. Really need to get a rail or something on there, by the way, guy. That's pretty dangerous how you have that set up. Your boy's going to end up dying. I have nothing to say to you. Do, do, do. We need to get out of the weather because it has negative effects. Weakness to shock. Thunderstorm, 20%. That's not that bad, I guess. Could definitely be worse. Now, if we're in the tent, does it remove that, though? Leather tent. Unpack. No, it doesn't seem to do much of anything. Oh, well. I had bedroll. Do we... I'm assuming we also throw it down on the ground. And then sleep. Hey, cool, dude. Um, It's 5 p.m. We'll just get up bright and early. We'll make camp. Get up first thing in the morning. My rest has been interrupted by you. Come on, die, dude. Thank you. Now, can I go back to bed? Yeah, it's 2 a.m. I don't want to wake up at 2 a.m. You know what? We're sleeping for an extra hour because of you. Ah! Oh, you bastard. <laughs> With your paralyzing BS. Ow. Oh, I didn't... Whatever. I didn't mean to sleep that long, but... Pick up. And, uh... There we go. Can we make... Can we have a fire in here? May I imagine probably, huh? Oh, Drain Attribute Thunderstorm is making our agility lower, too. Interesting. So the storms really do kind of suck. Hmm. That's cool. Uh, we have... Don't we have some cooked food? We do. We have some cooked eggs. That should get rid of our hunger. We're still thirsty, though. Will that get rid of our thirst entirely? It did. Excellent. Well, the cooked eggs did give us fortify fatigue, so it did give us something, I guess. Uh, you know what? I'm going to leave the tent up real quick. We're going to do one more thing before we leave for the night. I can't remember if it's this mod that I'm using, or if it was the one that we were using in Morrowind proper, where talking to one of the people over here can help you, like, get started with the, uh, with the survival quest. I think it's you? It might be the person upstairs, though. Uh... I'm waiting. Uh, must be the person upstairs. You? Frostwind! Uh, activate Frostwind. There we go. So way. now Frostwind is properly activated. 
Yeah. See, we can craft axes, bed rolls, another tent. We can change settings. Um, every 60 seconds, sure. I'm sure that won't get annoying at all. Settings. Toggle hypothermia. Active. Nice. Uh, da -da -da -da. Open more wind. Compatibility on. Okay, I think that's all the settings we need to change. We don't have swift cast. Frostwind active is currently active. Okay, we'll leave it active. And then what's the survival guide do for us? Anything? Does it just tell us? Yeah, it just tells us our current state. You're on your honor. Don't Thank you. Now the Frostwind campfire, I think, has more options for like things we can cook than the other one, but it also requires exposure increasing rapidly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it also requires like camp or fire wood to be able to do stuff. Okay, is our exposure going down now that we're in the tent? I'm just trying to figure out what this tent is for, other than just aesthetics, you know what I mean? Has it not been 60 seconds yet? I guess we can just, like, click that. 6 of 23. Exposure increasing. Maybe not. Okay. Uh, covered bed roll. We need two hides for that. But I mean, we bought a leather tent. Make campfire. Now, is that the same campfire that we already had? No, it's a different campfire. Um, we have no firewood, so we can't do anything with it. Hmm. It's going to take some time to figure out how like these mods all work together and things like that. But whatever, that's for next time. Hey, guys. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me while we continued playing a little bit more Morrowind. I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. I certainly did. I'm very excited to play more Morrowind, man. I, <laughs> I just want to play Morrowind. I really like Bethesda games. Um, and though this one definitely has its quirks, you could say, I'm having a ton of fun with it. I'm excited to get more into the story. Next time, we need to remember to go find Rabina, I guess. Hope she's not dead wherever she's at. And uh, go from there. I don't... I don't know, man. <laughs> oh, no. Our exposure is decreasing slowly. Awesome. Anyways. Uh, yeah. And then we're going to go take her where she needs to go, hopefully, so that she's not following us anymore. Because I can't be responsible for another human. I can hardly be responsible for ourselves. Today is, what is today? Friday. So we'll be back on Sunday. It's tough to remember my own schedule sometimes. <laughs> but to play something on the PS2. I hope to see whoever can make it there. In the meantime, have a wonderful night, everybody. Thank you all so much again, and uh, I'll see you next time. Oh, be kind to each other. I always forget that point. Just, yeah, the most important part. <laughs> Bye, guys. Whenever you're walking towards or away from the screen. Another 25. Let's go, dude. Got to get that first place. I'm in for the 69, though. I'm all for that 69.